the Group Technical Training Academy, the complete solution for your training needs. Technicians can learn from leading instructors on trends, issues, and technology. The Group's comprehensive training program will provide information that will sharpen your skills. I've got some tech tip information I'd like to share with you regarding an oxygen sensor. Let's say you've made the decision to replace the oxygen sensor. When you remove it from the exhaust manifold, it's black, rich looking like this one, or maybe even worse, maybe it looks like a piece of charcoal. The fact that the oxygen sensor is sooted up with a rich condition or carbon fouled, could that be that the oxygen sensor itself was the cause? That is a possibility. Because if the oxygen sensor stops working, it doesn't produce a voltage to the computer, and the computer doesn't see a voltage, it'll think that the fuel mixture is lean. It will respond by adding fuel. It ends up being a snowball effect. So there is a possibility that you're going to replace the oxygen sensor only and fix the vehicle. However, that is not the norm. If you remove the oxygen sensor from an exhaust manifold or exhaust pipe and it's rich fouled, you may be replacing the effect and not the cause. There's several things that could cause the engine to run rich. There could be another sensor, a coolant temp sensor, telling the computer that the engine's colder than what it really is. Same with an intake air temp sensor. You could have a mass airflow sensor over reporting airflow that caused the engine to run rich and now the oxygen sensor's black and sooted up. You could have too high a fuel pressure from a defective fuel pressure regulator. You could have an injector or several injectors in particular cylinders leaking that will cause the engine to run rich. These are all causes that in return are going to affect the oxygen sensor. We've all been down the road, we know what happens, we pull the spark plugs and they're rich fouled. And someone's, oh you have bad spark plugs. What do you mean bad? What's really bad about them? They're rich. They're coated rich. They're the effect. You better find out why those spark plugs are rich. It's the same thing with the oxygen sensor. You haven't reached the root cause yet. Just because you remove the oxygen sensor and it's all carbon fouled and black sooted up, it's very unlikely that the oxygen sensor itself caused the problem. You probably need to look elsewhere and do additional diagnostic tests to make sure that there's not some other component or something else wrong with the engine. You could have a speed density engine, an engine that doesn't have a mass airflow sensor, have low vacuum to the MAP sensor from a simple vacuum leak. Guess who's going to get hurt? We're going to drop vacuum to the MAP sensor, the engine's going to run rich, the oxygen sensor's going to become soot fouled. Not only the oxygen sensor, but the spark plugs. And it wouldn't be uncommon that a speed density vehicle, such as a Chrysler, you'd be replacing the oxygen sensor, the spark plugs, and doing an upper induction fuel injection cleaning. Especially in speed density engines, once they start running rich, it's a snowball effect because rich running engines, as carbon buildups in the induction system, vacuum drops. When you've dropped vacuum to the manifold absolute pressure sensor, the computer will interpret that as an increase in load and it will respond with additional fuel. I hope you can see how this will result in a snowball effect. Always keep in the back of your mind when you pull that oxygen sensor out and it's all black and rich and soot fouled, is it the cause or is it the effect? Do you still have additional diagnostics that you need to do because you need to get to the cause or you're going to see that vehicle again in a comeback. I'm Ron Ballou. Thanks for watching the Tech Tip.